Orion is a prominent constellation located on the celestial equator and visible throughout the world. It is one of the most conspicuous and recognizable constellations in the night sky. It was named after Orion, a hunter in Greek mythology. Its brightest stars are Rigel Beta Orionis and Betelgeuse Alpha Orionis, a blue-white and a red supergiant, respectively. History and mythology The earliest depiction that has been linked to the constellation of Orion is a prehistoric mammoth ivory carving found in a cave in the Ack Valley in West Germany in 1979. Archaeologists have estimated it to have been fashioned approximately 32,000 to 38,000 years ago. The distinctive pattern of Orion has been recognized in numerous cultures around the world, and many myths have been associated with it. Orion has also been used as a symbol in the modern world. Ancient Near East The Babylonian star catalogues of the Late Bronze Age name Orion Mulsipa, Z, and, Na, the Heavenly Shepherd, or, True Shepherd of Anu, Anu being the chief god of the heavenly realms. The Babylonian constellation was sacred to Papshakal and Ninshubur, both minor gods fulfilling the role of messenger to the gods. Papshakal was closely associated with the figure of a walking bird on Babylonian boundary stones, and on the star map the figure of the rooster was located below and behind the figure of the true shepherd. Both constellations represent the herald of the gods, in his bird and human forms respectively. In ancient Egypt, the stars of Orion were regarded as a god, called Sah. Because Orion rises before Sirius, the star whose heliacal rising was the basis for the solar Egyptian calendar, Sah was closely linked with Sopdet, the goddess who personified Sirius. The god Sopdu was said to be the son of Sah and Sopdet. Sah was syncretized with Osiris, while Sopdet was syncretized with Osiris' mythological wife, Isis. In the pyramid texts, from the 24th and 23rd centuries BC, Sah was one of many gods whose form the dead pharaoh was said to take in the afterlife. The Armenians identified their legendary patriarch and founder Hake with Orion. Hake is also the name of the Orion constellation in the Armenian translation of the Bible. The Bible mentions Orion three times, naming it Kessel, Kassil literally, fool. Though, this name perhaps is etymologically connected with Kislev. The name for the ninth month of the Hebrew calendar, i.e. November to December, which, in turn, may derive from the Hebrew root ksl as in the words, Kessel, Kisla, Kazel Kaisla hope, positiveness, i.e. hope for winter rains, Job chapter 9 verse 9, He is the maker of the bear and Orion, Job chapter 38 verse 31, Can you loosen Orion's belt? And Amos chapter 5 verse 8, He who made the Pleiades and Orion. In ancient Aram, the constellation was known as Nephila. The Nephilim may have been Orion's descendants. Topic: <inaudible> Greco-Roman Antiquity. Orion's current name derives from Greek mythology, in which Orion was a gigantic, supernaturally strong hunter of ancient times, born to Euryale, a Gorgon, and Poseidon, Neptune, god of the sea in the Greco-Roman tradition. One myth recounts Gaia's rage at Orion, who dared to say that he would kill every animal on the planet. The angry goddess tried to dispatch Orion with a scorpion. This is given as the reason that the constellations of Scorpius and Orion are never in the sky at the same time. However, Ophiuchus, the serpent bearer, revived Orion with an antidote. This is said to be the reason that the constellation of Ophiuchus stands midway between the scorpion and the hunter in the sky. The constellation is mentioned in Horace's Odes, Ode 3.27, 18, Homer's Odyssey, Book 5, Line 283, and Iliad and Virgil's Aeneid, Book 1, Line 535. Topic: <laughs> Middle East. In medieval Muslim astronomy, Orion was known as Al-Jabbar, the giant. Orion's sixth brightest star, Saif, is named from the Arabic, Saif al-Jabbar, meaning, sword of the giant. <laughs> Asian antiquity In China, Orion was one of the 28 lunar mansions Sio Shu. It is known as Shen Kan, literally meaning, three. For the stars of Orion's belt, see Chinese constellations. 
The Chinese character Kan Pinyin Shen originally meant the constellation Orion Chinese, Kansu Pinyin, Shangshu, its Shang dynasty version, over three millennia old, contains at the top a representation of the three stars of Orion's belt atop a man's head the bottom portion representing the sound of the word was added later. The Rig Veda refers to the Orion constellation as M. Riga the deer. It is said that two bright stars in the front and two bright stars in the rear are the hunting dogs, the one comparatively less bright star in the middle and ahead of two front dogs is the hunter and three aligned bright stars are in the middle of all four hunting dogs is the deer the M. Riga, and three little aligned but less brighter stars is the baby deer. The M. Riga means deer, locally known as Harnu in folk parlance. There are many folk songs narrating the Harnu. The Malay called Orion belt bintang tiga baratik the Three Brother Star Topic. European folklore In Old Hungarian tradition, Orion is known as magic archer Ijaz, or reaper Cassius. In recently rediscovered myths, he is called Nimrod Hungarian, Nimrod, the greatest hunter, father of the twins, Hunor, and Magar, the Pi, and O stars on upper right form together the reflex bow or the lifted scythe. In other Hungarian traditions, Orion's belt is known as Judge's stick. Byropalka, in Scandinavian tradition, Orion's belt was known as Frigg's distaff Frigorok or Freya's distaff. The Finns call Orion's belt and the stars below it Venomusen Viacate Venomoinen scythe. Another name for the asterism of Alnilam, Alnitak and Mintaka is Venomusen Vio Venomoinen's belt and the stars hanging from the belt as Kalavanmieka Kalava's sword. In Siberia, the Chukchi people see Orion as a hunter, an arrow he has shot is represented by Aldebaran Alpha Tori, with the same figure as other Western depictions. <laughs> Americas The Seri people of northwestern Mexico call the three stars in the belt of Orion Hapj a name denoting a hunter which consists of three stars, Hap mule deer, Haamoha pronghorn, and Mojet bighorn sheep. Hap is in the middle and has been shot by the hunter, its blood has dripped onto Tiburon Island. The same three stars are known in Spain and most of Latin America as Las Tres Marias, Spanish for the Three Marys. In Puerto Rico, the three stars are known as the Los Tres Reyes Magos, Spanish for the Three Wise Men. The Ojibwe Chippewa Native Americans call this constellation Kabibonican, the Winter Maker, as its presence in the night sky heralds winter. To the Lakota Native Americans, Teamnakanku Orion's Belt is the spine of a bison. The great rectangle of Orion are the bison's ribs, the Pleiades star cluster in nearby Taurus is the bison's head, and Sirius in Canis Major, known as Teamnacente, is its tail. Another Lakota myth mentions that the bottom half of Orion, the constellation of the hand, represented the arm of a chief that was ripped off by the Thunder People as a punishment from the gods for his selfishness. His daughter offered to marry the person who can retrieve his arm from the sky, so the young warrior Fallen Star whose father was a star and whose mother was human returned his arm and married his daughter, symbolizing harmony between the gods and humanity with the help of the younger generation. The index finger is represented by Rigel, the Orion Nebula is the thumb, the belt of Orion is the wrist, and the star Beta Eridani is the pinky finger. Topic. Polynesian. The seven primary stars of Orion make up the Polynesian constellation Haihaianakeiki which represents a child's string figure similar to a cat's cradle. Topic: <inaudible> Contemporary symbolism. The imagery of the belt and sword has found its way into popular western culture. For example, in the form of the shoulder insignia of the 27th Infantry Division of the United States Army during both world wars, probably owing to a pun on the name of the division's first commander, Major General John F. Orion. The film distribution company Orion Pictures used the constellation as its logo. Topic: In fiction in J. R. R. Tolkien's mythology surrounding Middle-earth, Orion is known as Menelvagar, which is Sindarin for the swordsman of the sky. In the movie Blade Runner, the dying replicant Roy Batty introspectively delivers his 
"'Tears in Rain' soliloquy. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. I watched sea beams glitter in the dark near the Tannhauser Gate. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in rain. Time to die." In the sci-fi comedy Men in Black, the last words of a dying alien disguised as a human were to prevent war, the galaxy is on Orion's belt. It was later revealed that Orion's belt referred to the collar of a cat named Orion. In the sci-fi television series Haven, the Oranid meteor shower is known as the Hunter meteor shower. It comes to Haven once every 27 years when the barn, a space between two worlds, comes to take the mysterious woman away. When the barn leaves, the hunter passes safely overhead and the troubles end, making the town of Haven a haven for the troubled again. Topic. Depictions In artistic renderings, the surrounding constellations are sometimes related to Orion. He is depicted standing next to the river Eridanus with his two hunting dogs Canis Major and Canis Minor, fighting Taurus. He is sometimes depicted hunting Lepus the hare. He sometimes is depicted to have a lion's hide in his hand. There are alternative ways to visualize Orion. From the southern hemisphere, Orion is oriented south upward, and the belt and sword are sometimes called the saucepan or pot in Australia and New Zealand. Orion's belt is called Dry Konings three kings, or the Dry Susters three sisters, by Afrikaans speakers in South Africa and are referred to as Les Trois Roys the three kings, in Dodé's Lettre de Mon Moulin 1866. The appellation Driakeningen the three kings, is also often found in 17th and 18th century Dutch star charts and seamen's guides. The same three stars are known in Spain, Latin America, and the Philippines as Los Tres Marias, the three Marys, and as Los Tres Reyes Magos, the three wise men. In Puerto Rico, even traditional depictions of Orion have varied greatly. Cicero drew Orion in a similar fashion to the modern depiction. The hunter held an unidentified animal skin aloft in his right hand, his hand was represented by Omicron II Orionis and the skin was represented by the five stars designated Pi Orionis. Kappa and Beta Orionis represented his left and right knees, while Eta and Lambda Leprous were his left and right feet, respectively. As in the modern depiction, Delta, Epsilon, and Zeta represented his belt. His left shoulder was represented by Alpha Orionis, and Mu Orionis made up his left arm. Lambda Orionis was his head and Gamma, his right shoulder. The depiction of Hyginus was similar to that of Cicero, though the two differed in a few important areas. Cicero's animal skin became Hyginus's shield Omicron and, Pi Orionis, and instead of an arm marked out by Mu Orionis, he holds a club Chi Orionis. His right leg is represented by Theta Orionis and his left leg is represented by Lambda, Mu, and Epsilon Leprous. Further Western European and Arabic depictions have followed these two models. Characteristics Orion is bordered by Taurus to the northwest, Eridanus to the southwest, Lepus to the south, Monoceros to the east, and Gemini to the northeast. Covering 594 square degrees, Orion ranks 26th of the 88 constellations in size. The constellation boundaries, as set by Eugene Delport in 1930, are defined by a polygon of 26 sides. In the equatorial coordinate system, the right ascension coordinates of these borders lie between 04 h 43.3 m and 06 h 25.5 m, while the declination coordinates are between 22.87 degrees and minus 10.97 degrees. The constellation's three-letter abbreviation, as adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 1922, is Ori. Orion is most visible in the evening sky from January to March, winter in the northern hemisphere, and summer in the southern hemisphere. In the tropics, less than about 8 degrees from the equator, the constellation transits at the zenith. In the period May to July, summer in the northern hemisphere, winter in the southern hemisphere, Orion is in the daytime sky and thus not visible at most latitudes. However, for much of Antarctica in the southern hemisphere's winter months, the sun is below the horizon even at midday. Stars and thus Orion are then visible at twilight for a few hours around local noon, low in the north. At the same time of day at the South Pole itself Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station, Rigel is only 8 degrees above the horizon, and the belt sweeps just along it. 
In the southern hemisphere's summer months, when Orion is normally visible in the night sky, the constellation is actually not visible in Antarctica because the sun does not set at that time of year south of the Antarctic Circle. In countries close to the equator, e.g., Kenya, Indonesia, Colombia, Ecuador, Orion appears overhead in December around midnight and in the February evening sky. Navigational aid Orion is very useful as an aid to locating other stars. By extending the line of the belt southeastward, Sirius Alpha CMA can be found, northwestward, Aldebaran Alpha Tau. A line eastward across the two shoulders indicates the direction of Procyon Alpha CMI. A line from Rigel through Betelgeuse points to Castor and Pollux Alpha Gem and Beta Gem. Additionally, Rigel is part of the winter circle asterism. Sirius and Procyon, which may be located from Orion by following imaginary lines see map, also are points in both the winter triangle and the circle. <laughs> <laughs> Features Orion's seven brightest stars form a distinctive hourglass-shaped asterism, or pattern, in the night sky. Four stars, Rigel, Betelgeuse, Bellatrix and Scythe, form a large roughly rectangular shape, in the center of which lie the three stars of Orion's belt, Alnitak, Alnilam and Mintaka. Descending from the belt is a smaller line of three stars, Orion's sword, the middle of which is in fact not a star but the Orion Nebula, also known as the Hunter's Sword. Many of the stars are luminous hot blue supergiants, with the stars of the belt and sword forming the Orion OB1 association. Standing out by its red hue, Betelgeuse may nevertheless be a runaway member of the same group. Topic. Stars Betelgeuse, alternatively by its bare designation Alpha Orionis, is a massive M-type red supergiant star nearing the end of its life. When it explodes it will even be visible during the day. It is the second brightest star in Orion, and is a semiregular variable star. It serves as the right shoulder of the hunter it represents assuming that he is facing the observer, and is the eighth brightest star in the night sky. Rigel, also known as Beta Orionis, is a B-type blue supergiant that is the sixth brightest star in the night sky. Similar to Betelgeuse, Rigel is fusing heavy elements in its core and will pass its supergiant stage soon on an astronomical timescale, either collapsing in the case of a supernova or shedding its outer layers and turning into a white dwarf. It serves as the left foot of Orion, the hunter. Bellatrix was designated Gamma Orionis by Johann Baer, but is known colloquially as the Amazon star. It is the 27th brightest star in the night sky. Bellatrix is considered a B-type blue giant, though it is too small to explode in a supernova. Bellatrix's luminosity is derived from its high temperature rather than its radius, a factor that defines Betelgeuse. Bellatrix serves as Orion's left shoulder. Mintaka garnered the name Delta Orionis from Bear, even though it is the faintest of the three stars in Orion's belt. Its name means, the belt. It is a multiple star system, composed of a large B-type blue giant and a more massive O-type main sequence star. The Mintaka system constitutes an eclipsing binary variable star, where the eclipse of one star over the other creates a dip in brightness. Mintaka is the westernmost of the three stars of Orion's belt, as well as the northernmost. Alnilam is designated Epsilon Orionis, a consequence of Bayer's wish to name the three stars in Orion's belt from north to south in alphabetical order. Also called al nathan Al-Nilam is named for the Arabic phrase meaning, string of pearls. Al-Nilam is a B-type blue supergiant, despite being nearly twice as far from the sun as Mintaka and Alnitak, the other two belt stars, its luminosity makes it nearly equal in magnitude. Al-Nilam is losing mass quickly, a consequence of its size, it is approximately 4 million years old. Alnitak, meaning, the girdle was designated Zeta Orionis by Bear, and is the easternmost star in Orion's belt. It is a triple star some 800 light-years distant, with the primary star being a hot blue supergiant and the brightest class O star in the night sky. Sif was designated Kappa Orionis by Bear, and serves as Orion's right foot. 
It is of a similar distance and size to Rigel, but appears much fainter, as its hot surface temperature 46,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 26,000 degrees Celsius causes it to emit most of its light in the ultraviolet region of the spectrum, of the lesser stars, Mysa or Lambda Orionis forms Orion's head, whilst Hatsya or Iota Orionis forms the tip of Orion's sword. Iota Orionis is also called Nair al-Saif, Arabic for, the brightest in the sword. Topic. Belt Orion's belt or the belt of Orion is an asterism within the constellation. It consists of the three bright stars Zeta Alnitak, Epsilon Alnilam, and Delta Mintaka. Alnitak is around 800 light years away from Earth and is 100,000 times more luminous than the Sun. Much of its radiation is in the ultraviolet range, which the human eye cannot see. Alnilam is approximately 1,340 light years away from Earth, shines with magnitude 1.70, and with ultraviolet light is 375,000 times more luminous than the Sun. Mintaka is 915 light years away and shines with magnitude 2.21. It is 90,000 times more luminous than the Sun and is a double star, the two orbit each other every 5.73 days. Looking for Orion's belt in the night sky is the easiest way to locate the constellation. In the northern hemisphere, Orion's belt is best visible in the night sky during the month of January around 9 p.m., when it is approximately around the local meridian. Just southwest of Alnitak lies Sigma Orionis, a multiple star system composed of five stars that have a combined apparent magnitude of 3.7 and lying 1,150 light years distant. Southwest of Mintaka lies the quadruple star Eta Orionis. <inaudible> sword Orion's sword contains the Orion Nebula, the Messier 43 Nebula, the Running Man Nebula, and the stars Theta Orionis, Iota Orionis, and 42 Orionis. <inaudible> Head Three stars compose a small triangle that marks the head. The apex is marked by Mysa Lambda Orionis, a hot blue giant of spectral type 083 and apparent magnitude 3.54, which lies some 1,100 light-years distant. Phi 1 and Phi 2 Orionis make up the base. Also nearby is the very young star Fu Orionis. Topic. Club Stretching north from Betelgeuse are the stars that make up Orion's club. Mu Orionis marks the elbow, Nu and Xi mark the handle of the club, and Chi-1 and Chi-2 mark the end of the club. Just east of Chi-1 is the Mira-type variable red giant U Orionis. <laughs> Shield West from Bellatrix lie six stars all designated Pi Orionis Pi 1 Ori, Pi 2 Ori, Pi 3 Ori, Pi 4 Ori, Pi 5 Ori and Pi 6 Ori which make up Orion's shield. Meteor showers Around 20 October each year the Orinid meteor shower Orionids reaches its peak. Coming from the border with the constellation Gemini as many as 20 meteors per hour can be seen. The shower's parent body is Halley's Comet. <laughs> Deep sky objects Hanging from Orion's belt is his sword, consisting of the multiple stars Theta-1 and Theta-2 Orionis, called the Trapezium and the Orion Nebula M42. This is a spectacular object that can be clearly identified with the naked eye as something other than a star. Using binoculars, its clouds of nascent stars, luminous gas, and dust can be observed. The trapezium cluster has many newborn stars, including several brown dwarfs, all of which are at an approximate distance of 1,500 light years. Named for the four bright stars that form a trapezoid, it is largely illuminated by the brightest stars, which are only a few hundred thousand years old. Observations by the Chandra X-ray Observatory show both the extreme temperatures of the main stars, up to 60,000 kelvins, and the star-forming regions still extant in the surrounding nebula. M78 NGC 2068 is a nebula in Orion, with an overall magnitude of 
0, it is significantly dimmer than the Great Orion Nebula that lies to its south, however, it is at approximately the same distance, at 1600 light years from Earth. It can easily be mistaken for a comet in the eyepiece of a telescope. M78 is associated with the variable star V351 Orionis, whose magnitude changes are visible in very short periods of time. Another fairly bright nebula in Orion is NGC 1999, also close to the Great Orion Nebula. It has an integrated magnitude of 10.5 and is 1500 light years from Earth. The variable star V380 Orionis is embedded in NGC 1999. Another famous nebula is IC 434, the Horsehead Nebula, near Zeta Orionis. It contains a dark dust cloud whose shape gives the nebula its name. NGC 2174 is an emission nebula located 6,400 light years from Earth. Besides these nebulae, surveying Orion with a small telescope will reveal a wealth of interesting deep sky objects, including M43, M78, as well as multiple stars including Iota Orionis and Sigma Orionis. A larger telescope may reveal objects such as Barnard's Loop and the Flame Nebula NGC 2024, as well as fainter and tighter multiple stars and nebulae. All of these nebulae are part of the larger Orion Molecular Cloud Complex, which is located approximately 1,500 light-years away and is hundreds of light-years across. It is one of the most intense regions of stellar formation visible within our galaxy. Topic. Future Orion is located on the celestial equator, but it will not always be so located due to the effects of precession of the Earth's axis. Orion lies well south of the ecliptic, and it only happens to lie on the celestial equator because the point on the ecliptic that corresponds to the June solstice is close to the border of Gemini and Taurus, to the north of Orion. Precession will eventually carry Orion further south, and by AD 14,000 Orion will be far enough south that it will become invisible from the latitude of Great Britain. Further in the future, Orion's stars will gradually move away from the constellation due to proper motion. However, Orion's brightest stars all lie at a large distance from the Earth on an astronomical scale much farther away than Sirius, for example. Orion will still be recognizable long after most of the other constellations composed of relatively nearby stars, have distorted into new configurations, with the exception of a few of its stars eventually exploding as supernovae, for example Betelgeuse, which is predicted to explode sometime in the next million years. See also Urian constellation Orvandal Urania Orion Nebula in fiction Orion Correlation Theory Hubble 3D 2010, an IMAX film with an elaborate CGI fly-through of the Orion Nebula References Explanatory notes Citations Bibliographer Levy, David H. 2005. Deep Sky Objects. Prometheus Books. ISBN 1-59102-361-0 Ian Ridpath and Will Tyrion 2007. Stars and Planets Guide, Collins, London. ISBN 978-0-00-725120-9. Princeton Universal Press, Princeton. ISBN 978-0-691-13556-4. Stahl, Julius D. W. 1988, the New Patterns in the Sky, McDonald and Woodward Publishing Company, ISBN 0-939923-04-1. External links The Deep Photographic Guide to the Constellations, Orion Melbourne Planetarium, Orion Sky Tour Views of Orion from other places in our galaxy The clickable Orion Star Tales, Orion Deep Widefield Image of Orion Constellations of Words. Orion NASA Astronomy Picture of the Day, Orion, Head to Toe the 23rd of October 2010 Beautiful Astrophoto, Zoom into Orion Warburg Institute Iconographic Database Over 160 medieval and early modern images of Orion